Hey there everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to uh, do a lighting video and I did one about a year ago. It's extremely popular, a lot of great comments on it. Obviously it's something that a lot of the viewers are interested in. So I'm going to uh, do occasional lighting videos here. Uh, but before I, I get into something specific, I just w I think it's important to start with the basics, okay? And the basics starts with the Kelvin color temperature scale. And a lot of people don't know what that is. I'm gonna explain it in this video. I'm going to go into depth in, a, in an article that I'm going to link in the description. And if YouTube lets me put it up here, I'll do that too. And then I'm also going to um, uh, uh, show you in a, in a second here what the scale means and then give you an idea as to how you should be able to uh, use that scale when you go shopping for, for lighting. So stay with me here for just a couple of minutes and I'll explain. So what I have here is a printed out chart that I made of the uh, Kelvin color temperature scale and I'm not going to get into the technical definition of, of the Kelvin measurement and where it derives from. I'm just going to explain how it relates to you and your home lighting. Every light bulb that you purchase has a, an indicator on the package that shows the Kelvin color temperature level. Okay, So usually anywhere from 2700 uh, typically up to around 5,000 is what you're going to see in your local home improvement store or, or online. So the lower the number, the warmer or the more yellow the light will be. And the higher the number, the colder or more blue the light will be. So depending on your lighting application at home, it's really important to choose the right light bulb. And I can tell you that when we uh, remodeled our kitchen, the first uh, lights that were put in the ceiling were around 5,000 or 4,500K and it was such an annoying light in the room. It felt like the it felt like a prison cell and not a kitchen. And we actually scaled it down to 3,500 which is uh, provides better lighting for the kitchen and, and a better feeling in the room as well. It's also important to make sure that if you have different light fixtures in a room that they're either at the same color temperature or close by. You don't want to have one lamp, for example, an example that's 2700, and then you've got recessed lighting that's you know, 4000. It's going to really make your room look and feel strange. You can also match the color temperature to the decor in the room too. So if you have a lot of browns and wood tones, you might want to go here. And if you have a lot of you know whites and grays, you might want to go a little bit more towards this direction. So the color temperature is extremely important. I would never dream of picking out a light fixture or a light bulb without understanding what temperature I was going to get from it and matching the temperature to the need in the room. So that should give you the basics on the Kelvin color temperature scale. You can read the full article in the description below. And uh, if you like the video, please hit that like and subscribe button and come back to see the next one.